today we are all a little bit more religious because we are talking about the seven deadly sins. Uh, no, no, not the weeb version, the religious seven deadly sins. This time around, we're not talking about pride, greed, wrath, envy, lust, gluttony and sloth, we are instead talking about the seven deadly sins of the WoW player. What are the, the worst vices that players usually are at fault with when it comes, for example, to fighting a, a raid encounter or going through a mythic plus key? Let's start with the number one because it's the, it's the simplest one to resolve. It's the simplest one to fix for you as a sinner which comes even before entering the content you're trying to do which is of course coming prepared you can come prepared in the physical way with food with potions and with flasks and then you can come prepared in the spiritual way which is knowing the encounter or knowing the mechanics of the key that's the first sin that many heathens commit when they go and play this game and it's perhaps one of the more widespread so before you're even starting a mythic plus key you might not know it but amidst your group or even your raid there might be quite a few sinners hiding in the midst pretending to be normal players sin number two it's another kind of not being prepared however this one is a bit more radical there tend to be some players a bit more hell-bent on continuing to sin this way which is not coming prepared but in the sense of add-ons we live in a modern world and we still happen to have quite a few fundamentalist sinners who believe that add-ons are the work of the devil and they should not be trusted well you know the reality is that nowadays blizzard is developing uh, dungeons and raids and mechanics etc etc with in mind the players using add-ons in particular the more the more standout ones that can help you uh, go through your content being boss mods like dbm or bigwigs as well as weak auras not being prepared in that sense is also quite a sin for a wow player to to repent for sin number three is one of the more widespread sins it's not one of the worst it's not one of the most evil so we're not comparing this to something like pride or wrath or envy it's perhaps something closer to gluttony or to sloth which is the sin of tunnel vision the sin of going into an encounter into a fight or a mythic plus key and essentially becoming a bit too focused on what you're doing which many times is you know doing damage doing your rotation following what buttons you have to press and kind of lose track of everything else around you so even if you were a good sheep in your herd and you dutifully use add-ons and you dutifully come prepared to the encounter then it doesn't matter because you are tunnel visioning on the boss you don't realize a mechanic is coming and you're all startled and surprised when you get hit by a line from the boss and get one shot so tunnel vision and the ability to be aware of your surroundings doing an encounter is often one of the more <laughs> the, the more culpable sins that causes players to die in game Scene number four of your typical WoW player could actually be the closest one to a real sin. We are talking about sloth. This is the scene, perhaps the, the reverse of coming prepared, which is leaving prepared. What I mean by that is the disinterest and the little attention paid by many players to things like logs to things like reviewing your own play this is also one of the better ways for you to improve yourself as a player not just in this game you will find this as a suggestion on how to get better as a player in many other games one of the first suggestions you will hear is to record your own gameplay and then watch it back you will be able to realize the things you're doing wrong. You will be able to also have a much better idea of what 
problems you might have in your UI. Like for example, are the boss ability bars put in, in, in a bad positions? Am I noticing this weak aura I put in to, to make me aware of certain mechanics, etc., etc. All these things can often come much more clear if you watch yourself back in a recording of yourself playing. The other one that could be more details about your own play could be to, to read and watch logs. To log yourself in a Mythic Plus key or to log yourself in a raid and be able, once the raid is over, rather than just looking at the damage meter and saying, I finished fifth in the raid, I am content, going back to the log and to trying to figure out things like, okay, I only pressed this cooldown, which has a 10 second cooldown, and I should have been able to use it 53 times in this encounter. I actually only used it 36, which is kind of bad play. These type of things are the things you can figure out while watching logs or reviewing your own play in a recording, which many players tend to just bypass when playing the game, not paying too much attention about that when it comes to your own performance in, in the raid or in Mythic Plus. The fifth scene we have in front of us is perhaps the more understandable one, okay? It's the one that if it happens, you're like, well, you know, it, it kind of happened to everyone once in a while, so, so I can kind of understand this poor lost soul, which is the scene of Tilt. Well, you know, it goes by itself. Sometimes, sometimes you are doing well, everything is going fine on your boss progression, you manage to do very well and to then wipe at 0.1%. And after that, you spend the next two hours wiping on the same boss without even being able to reach the last phase once anymore. Or you were doing a Mythic Plus key, you finally found a pug which seemed like they were going to be able to time this key without too much effort, and then suddenly there is a tiny mistake from a player, there is a full wipe, and now the atmosphere gets gloomy, not much is being said in chat, and you're now rushing against time without knowing whether or not you will time the key anymore. And you start to get more antsy, you start to get more stressed, you start to feel more tension in your play because of this. It is, as I said, something that has happened to many players, most players, who have ever gone into a competitive environment. It is the, it is the, the more natural of the sins to, to happen when you are playing this game. It is still, though, a sin and something that a faithful servant of the Lord should still try to steer clear of, should still try to improve himself to make sure that this happens the least amount of times possible whenever you are playing the game. The sixth sin is the other one of the closest sins to the one on our mortal plane, just like not reading into your performance is similar to Sloth, this one, Pride, is quite similar to what happens to many players in-game. Very often you will find this happen whenever there is a mistake, whenever there is a death, a wipe, something goes wrong, either in the raid or in a dungeon, and you will often find certain players to sort of lash out at someone else, to sort of dump the fault of the mistake on someone else, even though actually, technically, if you look into it, they were kind of the ones who made the mistakes in the first place. There is this tendency on a few, a few too many players to essentially disculpate themselves, to sort of remove themselves from the equation when it comes to admitting fault. They're like, well, you guys are all trash, I am ditching this key, it wasn't my fault, let me just queue up to yet another key to the same dungeon where I failed the same mechanic I just did, pretending that it wasn't my fault. And then, if it happens to me again, I will continue to fail that mechanic because I have still convinced myself it was someone else's fault. This type of pride can lead to more and more mistakes and more and more ruined keys, for example, or wiped bosses, because certain players tend to not be willing to admit whenever they make a mistake or not be willing to go, oh, you know what, maybe I'm not quite 
sure i understand how am i supposed to be kiting this boss or how am i supposed to be using my defensives for this mechanic because it hurts a lot i'm just gonna say healers suck or the tank is a noob and then leave the key or leave the raid and pretend everything is fine that is quite often a reason that is quite often the result of this sin for many players we have now come we have now come to the last the seventh of the deadly sins for WoW players, which is ugly transmogs. This is something that not many players know, but for years now there has been an undercurrent, an underground scientific thought of uh, experts, historians, scientists, who have discovered that the prettier, the cooler and the most fit of transmogs can actually give you damage and healing increase. The better you look, the more fresh you are, the higher you are going to be showing up in the meters and the more people will want to become your friends. It is often very distracting to be entering a mythic plus key knowing how fresh and how classy you look with your transmog, knowing that you are surrounded by some vulpera abominations or some slat mugs left and right that ruin the entire setting of your coolness. So it's definitely something that many players are guilty of and should do best to improve the situation to confess their sins to their nearest priest and promise to make better and showing up to a group or a raid in the best attire possible for the encounter. There might be, of course, some minor sins committed by players here and there, but these are the main sins committed by WoW players whenever going in-game and joining some, some raids or PV encounters like Mythic Plus. So you can let me guys know how many of these sins are you committing or have you committed in your stay in WoW, you know, how deep how many layers in hell deep are you right now because of your heretic ways in game maybe you are a recovering sinner maybe you have been able to clear yourself of quite a few of these sins through your stay in this game so with this pointed out i will be waiting in the comments to read your juicest sins in game and with that out of the way, we can now leave each other on this Monday, the beginning of a new week in WoW, waiting at this point for 7-8 days left to the release of patch 10.1.7. So with this out of the way, we are now thanking all of our Patreon supporters for the contribution and help to the growth of the channel, which can, as usual, be given for free. You can like and comment down below as well as subscribe to the channel itself. So, with these things out of the way, thank you guys again for watching, see you guys tomorrow, and in the meantime, well, I think a few times I might have sinned in Tunnel Vision, and perhaps a few times I might have sinned in lacking a cool transmog, but I was cured from that, I recovered greatly. <laughs> <laughs>